I'm not sure how I'm going to put the title for this, but <laughs> New Orleans is one of the low-down cities in the country. I mean, these people are low-down dirty, dirty motherfuckers. They're, only, they're kind of that way to their people, but they're more so to tourists. Anybody that's not from there, I'll give you an example. We went over there, and um, we have out-of-state tags. So we go there, and we've been there, shit, we used to go there three or four times a year. And we always went to the same parking lot. Now, they got it to where you have to pay through an app or online or something. It's kind of weird. My wife did it. But there wasn't no signs that said you had to do it nowhere that we could see. We found the sign later, little bitty little sign. It was 12 by 16 in the stupidest little place that no one would ever have known it was there. So, huh. come to find out, we end up with the boot about three hours later. Three hours later and $200 later, we find out about the sign. And then I start watching this motherfucker, the guy putting the boots on. He's going through all the ones that have out-of-state tags first and starts booting them. I'm like, this is low down. And then there was a lady walking by. She said, man, I really apologize for that. I mean, they, they're low down. I'm sorry they did that to y'all. <laughs> she said, they only do it to the people out of state. They really don't mess with the people in state. I'm like, really? It's like, God damn these people. And they ain't the only damn thing. What, there's a lot of other stuff. The, the parking, man, they, they see your out of state tag. They will rape you on the parking too. It is insane how low down they are about this. But the plus side to it, though, <laughs> and if you watch some of my other videos, How to Get Free Parking, <laughs> it tells you it's not really free, but it's 20 minutes of your time. And you got to kind of see what you're doing because it's cheaper to do this <laughs> than it is to get your car booted or towed. We went to the O'Hara's. That's a casino down there. It's down in the heart of everything. And we were staying a week in New Orleans, so we parked our car at O'Hara's, and we got the little um, trolley pass. It was like 20 bucks each, and rode that damn thing the whole weekend. Or it was like five days we were there. And that totaled to maybe $60. All of that totaled to maybe $60. Because each time you got to go to O'Hara's and spend 20 minutes for each day of free parking. Well, if you ain't from there and you ain't been there in a while, the average parking is $35 to $75. And it can be anywhere from four hours to eight hours, depending on what part of the French Quarter you're in. So you got to be mindful about that, too. And we were Airbnb somewhere that was about 10 minutes away from the French Quarter, but we were planning on being there for a while. So we parked the car and we went to O'Hara, spent 20 minutes, as long as you're playing the, the slot machine, you put a penny machine in and you just hit the button every so often. But as long as that ticket shows you were there 20 minutes, you're good to go. Just be safe. <laughs> I just seen another thing just now that uh, these people that were visiting there and um, in an RV park, they parked in front of the police station <laughs> and the motherfucker stole their car. <laughs> uh, they didn't steal their car. <laughs> I tell you what happened that car. The um people with these damn stingers, they call them um stingers. These little tow trucks, they back right up to your car and walk off with your car is what they do. I watched a guy do it. He had a car uploaded and gone in five minutes because somebody parked in the wrong spot they wasn't supposed to. <laughs> so instead of giving you the ticket, they just take your car and it's three hundred dollars a day. So be safe. <laughs>